Hey folks, uh, Salty Seaman here. A uh, little bad news to report and more just reporting just because it's such an odd situation. Uh, three pro wrestlers are reported dead within the uh, hour. Uh, uh, Brickhouse Brown, Nikolai Volkov, and Brian Christopher Lawler. Uh, very uh, disturbing. I just left to go to the movies with my son. Come back, I see uh, someone, a friend had messaged another friend on Facebook saying, hey, is this true? These All three of these guys just died. I was like, that sounds a little excessive, but look it up and uh, for sure. I, I don't know Brickhouse Brown that well. He's before my time, uh, but you know he's a uh, big name in the sport, especially uh, African American communities. He was one of the, one of the bigger names. Really broke through a lot of ground. I know that about him. Uh, rest in peace, uh, Nikolai Volkov. You know, I I caught him. You know, kind of the end of his uh, communist run, and he did kind of the. Uh, return to uh, America, denounced being Russian. He's actually Lith Lithuanian, but giving most of the Russian wrestlers of the day, he came actually the closest to being a Russian. Uh, the rest of them just had those weird Texas accents, of course, like uh, Fritz von Erich. And uh, Brian Christopher, man, what can you say? Uh, son of Jerry Lawler, Jerry the King, uh, 46. Uh, did not know he was that old. He was definitely playing a younger dude than what he was in his time in Too Cool. Of course, that's what he's most famous for. The Scotty Tuhati and Rikishi. Uh, he made a, a return a couple of years ago during the Lawler Cole feud, and he didn't look great. I uh, you know there's a lot of rumors he was on something. Uh, recently, he was in jail and apparently hung himself in jail. So, out of the three of them, definitely the saddest part of of the story. You know, heart goes out to King and his family. Uh, you know, just another wrestler's son, just. You know, it's hard living in the shadow, and, and I've heard he's had issues. Uh, you know, obviously he was in jail at the time. Um, you know, you know it's hard to, hard to hear that about any, any pro wrestler. You always feel bad, but just it, just the oddity of all three of them at the same time, I think, uh, you know, definitely kind of struck a weird nerve. You know, always the, that myth, everything comes in threes, and if you look colorfully, there's usually more than three at any given time. But in this case, three from the same business within the same hour is, is, is pretty... Uh, pretty odd circumstances all completely unrelated it's just just one of those days so uh, r.i.p out to all those fans uh you know all right you know you know of course feelings for their family you know you know jerry the king you know this person we've all if you're a wrestling fan this guy you've been you know listening to for decades upon decades whether it's as a memphis fan or uh, as his tenure in the wwe as an announcer and uh, as occasional heel wrestler uh, had sorry, hard to, sorry to hear that, um, you know, especially anyone who are fans of Too Cool back in the day, or Nikolai Volkov back in his day, or Brickhouse Brown back in his day. You know, don't want to overlook any one person here because it's a sad moment. Uh, so just a little break again from uh, from military stuff. Talk a little uh, pro wrestling. Something like this happens. It's generally what I do. Uh, but uh, yeah, that's all I got for now. Uh, look for a review of uh, Generation Kill uh, early next week. That's all I got. Rest in peace.